No, wait, no, listen. We've got smoke, mate. We've got smoke. Nice. Nah. <laughs> Doll. <coughs> Storm Kira's here with her 70 mile an hour wind, so it looks like a day to head out to the workshop and see what's up with my weird sounding gearbox. Well, she still works and she drove back to the car, but that is not a happy sound. We've repacked the axles a few times with grease, but I must admit, since we installed the metal gears in there months ago, with all the water work and everything, never been in. <coughs> okay, so that is, uh, that is bad. <laughs> <clears throat> so I think it's going to be something in there, rust, dirt, it's not going to be pretty either way. Let's have a look. First thing to do will be disconnect the props, spin each diff by hand to check that they're not noisy, then that will narrow it down to being the gearbox. So if you're trying to narrow down issues, you can just do it sort of in sections. So disconnected both of the props from the gearbox, then you can spin the axles independently and see if there's any noise. So, rear prop, no problems there. Front prop, no problems there. Neither of them feel tight. I will give them a strip down and clean anyway, as I do often, because they get, you know, glungy. And also, you've got the sort of, the bit of lash between, see where that's moving there. That then goes onto the gear that, goes onto the diff so if that's sort of moving about you can end up shredding that gear but either way we know the problem currently lies rather unsurprisingly given the abuse it's had somewhere in there and it's all metal gear so it's either going to be a rusty horrible mess or we've got a bearing gone so let's have a look right there's four screws under there that the gearbox has been removed with if you put a little bit of tape it means you can flip the thing back over and then obviously you won't lose the screws they won't fall out other than that or put them back in where they came out of. Why would you make that bit all like X's that can collect mud knowing it's under the gearbox and can't be cleaned? That is grim. Gearbox is off in a promising puddle of water, but we just double check that it's not the motor making any noises because obviously all the time it's meshed with the gear and you're trying to turn the wheels, it's also moving the motor, so that could be the noise. No, that's peachy. Somewhere in there. Well, it's filthy and disgusting, but there's nothing actually broken. So, take it apart, clean it down, check the bearings out, and, um, yeah, see what's up. That's the trans rebuilt and re-greased. The only thing I'm... It wasn't the problem, but there's a little sort of bump there that I'm going to put some hot glue on, because that could let water in. The spur gear, obviously we fixed this yesterday in the filth, we did a whole motor swap. So that mesh wasn't quite right. I don't know whether that could have been the noise, I didn't really find anything up inside, but rules one thing out. Haven't got a spare at the minute, so I have to order one of those up, but yeah, it's all nice and quiet now. All the bearings are changed and it's uh, ready to hit the mud again with that, so check the axles out, give the rest of the truck a clean. And I'm going to fill all those in with hot glue so that they're not mud traps. Gearbox test rig. Make sure there's no noise without bolting the whole car back together. Perfect. Right, we're going to fill in these dirt traps that live under the gearbox. Check it out. I've had my use out of these prop shafts. Those holes were the same size once. It's actually folded around. That's mental. Well, that escalated quickly. We started just rebuilding it now. So motor and gearbox back on. Weird, like, gun to collect the areas underneath are filled up with hot glue. Axles are off. Shocks are off. We're going to rebuild the axles, even though I don't think there's anything wrong with them. Give everything else a clean up. Wazz it back together. Maybe with a few mods, I'm looking at that section. Uh, 
Well, the storm's getting worse and worse, and it actually pulled the door open and it's come off its hinges at the top so I've had to close that for today and finish up but yeah it'll be back together soon I've ordered um, a few little bits and bobs for it one of which is a a new direction shall we say I'm looking at bob tailing the back of the chassis going on with a new body and getting a little bit more extreme so I'll take this as an opportunity to improve rather than just fix uh, this has sort of become part one rather than a gearbox rebuild so we'll leave it there for a rainy day and um Crack on next time.